everybody welcome back to a new what i wore in a week i am starting today off on a very casual note like seriously casual but you know you just have some of those days where you're just like i am not doing this today like i just tried putting clothes on and i was clearly just like not feeling that vibe so this is what we've settled with but i thought lots of you would actually like to see uh, some casual outfits incorporated into this as well as the more like pulled together ones i feel like you're going to see a range <laughs> this week but this is a jumper from a brand, I believe, which is called Cole and Terry. It's like YSL logos, so it's obviously not real. Like you would never see the YSL and the Saint Laurent logos ever like put together. They're very, very, very separate. The company does not like them being put together. I have no idea how they're producing these. But anyway, this jumper is so snugly. I just really love it. It's very, very cute. I have this in white as well. But the black is definitely my more most worn. I wear this a lot of the time when I'm just going to the gym. I need a sweater to throw on. I throw it on with my gym leggings. But today I'm wearing my leather Zara leggings, which I love. And then my Nike trainers. So that is the kind of base of this outfit is super comfy really nice for like working on the sofa nice for chilling at home on the sofa which i hope most of you do more than work on the sofa and then it's nice for like going out in as well and just being comfortable good for long car rides that kind of thing if these zara ones didn't have a really tight waistband like that panel is so tight i would probably wear these on flights as well because they're really really cute might have worn them on a flight before but they are just too tight and when your tummy starts swelling it's not cute yeah would wear these on a flight though if i had ones that were slightly different around the middle but yeah they're just great for everything basically is what i'm trying to say i've got a couple of very similar ones so i'll link those in the info box because these are old and sold out but it's a little bit chilly outside so i've got my coat it's sunny so i've got my sunglasses and then i've got my bag so i'll show you what all of that looks like together this is my go-to look for when i just don't want to actually leave the house but i have to leave the house and i just want to be in my duvet so this coat is like the duvet equivalent of a coat of a the coat equivalent of a duvet what am i saying but yeah i love this at the moment so my sunglasses are celine i'm trying to find a dupe for these at the moment but they're very very hard to find a dupe for lauren i feel like has a pair though so i'm gonna ask her where hers are from then my coat is from misguided last year but i believe they brought it back because it's just an absolute classic and it's hugely popular every year so i will try and link that and if not i will link some very very similar versions Givenchy Antigona this is the small size not my mini and yeah that is that is it very very cozy you can't really see it very well because it's literally like all black this is like a teddy material very cute very snuggly I'm gonna go now we're hunting down some Halloween ice cream who knew that was a thing hello everybody it's another grim rainy day like i almost thought that you weren't going to get an outfit today because most of the time i have been in my comfy clothes which i do actually have a set that i want to show you so i might show you that later but this is what i'm wearing out we're just going out to get some coffee and i've just basically thrown on a very basic outfit but this is my i think this is pretty little thing it's perfect for autumn because it just doesn't keep you too warm i love this knit so much to be honest like i think i will keep this for life it's just perfect the way it fits and falls is so perfect yeah you know when you finally find an item and you're like this is what i feel like i've been searching for forever so yeah i think i got this october last year still loving it then i've also got my zara joggers they're looking a bit tighter today because i put them in the wash and they tend to go tighter after they've been tumble dried they tumble dry quite well if anyone was wondering about that and then also have my nike trainers as usual and then my coat is this gorgeous one from misguided last year but i'm pretty sure they've brought it back i'm just kind of rocking a load of neutrals and black and that is my preferred way to style at the moment i just like mixing all of my different kind of neutral tones that i've got so i've got my shivanchi bag on with the coat i just really like the texture clash of like teddy bear shearling fur and then the very very shiny leather i think it looks really really nice together oh i just love this outfit it's really cute it's like one of those really nice easy ones for when you want to be super comfy but also feel put together just really great wardrobe staples a good knit some nice leather joggers teddy bear coat leather bag just super super easy and then you can throw on whatever footwear you want trainers is my shoe of choice i just love trainers so much so yeah nice basic rainy day outfit but very cozy so yeah i will see you maybe a bit later in my pajamas slash comfy clothes oh and by the way my fragrance of the week is going to be the byredo blanche fragrance love this so much it basically just smells like cotton clean clothes it's absolutely gorgeous i've used quite a lot of it already 
love it so so much i also have it in shower gel form and i could not recommend it enough definitely i'm gonna need the body lotion so that i just smell like this so so intensely so yeah that is my fragrance love of the week hello everybody today it is saturday so i thought i would show you my outfit of the day i have to, actually have to go to the gym in a minute but i thought i would show you my outfit of the day a little bit earlier today just because it's getting so dark so quickly and the light in here is really crap so i thought i would show you my outfit of the evening that i'm wearing out to the cinema tonight a little bit earlier. Sunglasses not needed, but I'm just adding them for the vibe because I just took a photo of this for Instagram and I'm freaking obsessed with it. Zara long sleeve top, which you will be seeing in an upcoming video or you will have already seen. And if so, I'm sorry, cause you're gonna know this outfit already. Zara leather skinny trousers, ASOS boots, Croc effect boots, which I I'm obsessed with, I love them so much. My Lorna Luxe in the style trench coat, which I am freaking obsessed with right now. It's like the perfect everyday coat. When it gets too cold to stop wearing this, I will be heartbroken because I love it right now. I was wearing this bag in the photo on Instagram, but I think tonight I'll probably wear this out. Just because it fits so much in it and it's just a very, very practical bag and it's not a clutch type of date night, so. Yeah, this will be my outfit of the evening. Super cute, perfect for a very grim, rainy day that isn't too cold, which is basically every day at the moment, to be honest. But yeah, I really love this outfit. Super simple, but I just feel really, really comfortable in it. I feel really good in it. I always feel really good in a pair of leather trousers. So yeah, that is my OOTD. Hello everybody, welcome back to this, what I wore in a week. This is today's outfit. I went out this morning to the gym, got absolutely soaked, and now don't plan on being in anything but this for the rest of the day. <laughs> this actually has like a matching jumper. I'll show you later if it dries in time because I put it in the wash. But yeah, I thought I would just show you my lazy around the house outfit. This top is from Topshop. I've got a Victoria's Secret bra on underneath, which is really doing the most right now. <laughs> and then I've got these ASOS kind of jogging bottoms, which again, like I said, have the matching hoodie and then white company cashmere socks, which have seen better days, if I'm honest. But yeah, that is today's. OOTD. If I wear anything else, if I get changed and I go out later, I will let you know. I will show you what I'm wearing. But for now, I think this is going to be it. But this is literally my favourite lounging around the flat comfy outfit. So yeah, that is what I'm wearing right now. Morning, everybody. This morning, I'm off to the hairdressers to get this sorted out. Look at this tiny ponytail. I'm having my extension, extensions, 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 what was that? I'm having my extensions put back in this morning. I had them out last night. They're being washed and retaped and they're going back in. So that is what I'm up to this morning. So I've just thrown on something really simple for that. So I didn't want to spend too much time faffing over my outfit. As you can see, it's really easy to see in this light. But it's basically a black fluffy top. I believe this is from Zara. My jeans are from Topshop. They're the Sydney jeans, which I don't really, they don't make your bum look very good. It's like, it's not the best fitting jean, but they are what I had. I've had these for about three years, maybe longer. And yeah, I used to live in these and they're one of the few pairs of skinnies that I have. So I just li literally pulled them off the shelf and they'll do for today. I'm also wearing these ASOS kind of shiny croc boots, which I'm living for at the moment. And then this Zara jacket, which is very, very old, but they always do it again every year in some capacity. I had one before that fell apart, just went straight back to Zara and bought the next year's version. So they should still do something like this. It's basically very floaty, kind of waterfall style fit. It has a belt that comes around the middle so you can like cinch it if you want to. I just leave it open and it looks like it falls longer at the front than it is at the back but I think it's actually pretty straight the whole way around but it just falls really nicely so yeah that is my all black outfit of the day and then wearing my Estee Lalonde Daisy London necklace just for a little bit of something Celine sunglasses which are just helping to distract from the hair sitch which I've tried to make look as best I can but it's uh, not ideal I don't really know how to dress when I don't have any hair. Does anyone else have that issue? I don't know. But yeah, that is my outfit. And then I've just got my West 22 pouch bag. The lovely lady from West 22 sent me the town one, bless her. So yeah, love that. I just thought I would add a little bit of some kind of color, color to the outfit. So yeah, that is my OOTD. Hello everybody. So today's outfit is an oldie, but a goodie. This is my Zara jumper. 
I love this so much and I've paired it with my Topshop slip dress and just belted it around the middle, hoiked it up a little bit because the slip dresses are obviously very, very long on me and it works for evening but not really for daytime. So I belt it and then tuck my jumper in and it makes a nice jumper midi skirt combo and I've then paired it with these boots. These are from And Other Stories. They are like lots of boots that are kind of around at the moment and very, very expensive. So I saw these and they were much, much more affordable than a lot of others that I'd seen. So I decided to go for this pair and they're perfect. They're a really lovely dark brownie color. So they go with all my black outfits, but also my neutrals as well. Really, really lovely. And for accessories, I've just got my Celine sunglasses, Daisy London necklace, Olivia Burton watch. And I'm gonna go for this clutch again, twice in one week. But I really like the brownie tones. I think these boots are a great color for integrating more tan into your winter wardrobe. I don't find tan is a very wintry color. So this is kind of the stepping stone to this and they kind of work quite nicely together. And then the sunglasses also go quite nicely because they are like a dark brown, black, tan, or like that tortoise shell vibe all kind of mixed together. So yeah, this is today's outfit. Morning everybody, today is Friday. I have an event in London today, hence the all black because I had to get ready kind of early and didn't want to think too much about what I was wearing. So this jacket is one you will have seen before from Zara. It's just a really big oversized blazer. I have to say this outfit doesn't show up as nicely on camera as it does in real life. I don't know if that's my camera settings actually. I'm not sure. But yeah, the blazer is very oversized. It has padded shoulders and yeah, it's just a really nice oversized one for the winter. I then have a polo neck on which I believe is from, I think I got it with some work that I was doing with Amazon Prime and I believe the brand is like United Colors of Benetton or something like that. I feel like they're actually quite a big brand. I just don't really shop in there. And then I'm wearing my Topshop Joni jeans with the five buttons up the front and then my ASOS Croc boots. Very, very simple. I just didn't really want to fuss too much today, which uh, is ironic because I actually spent quite a long time trying to get the no fuss look down and really this should have been very quick and easy to put together. But anyway, my bag is going to be this one, my little Dior. I would normally wear my Chanel jumbo bag with this, but I found that actually this just gave this a bit more of a casual feel because it's just a little bag and it's obviously a slight colour. It's a neutral, but it's still a colour and just kind of breaks up the look a little bit, whereas the Chanel Jumbo just kind of blends in with the entire outfit. So yeah, that is my outfit of the day. Good morning, everybody. So today I am wearing one of my favorite little outfits that I own. And I'm actually kind of sad because I feel like this is probably going to be one of the last chances I have to wear this without thermals underneath of some kind. Basically, I'm kind of working from home. I've just thrown some shoes on to kind of give you an idea of the vibe if I do leave the house. But yeah, this jumper is an old one from Pretty Little Thing, but I will link some similar ones. There are quite a few similar ones to this around, I feel like at the moment, but I just love the loose knit on this it's really really sweet and you can layer underneath it really well i usually like to if i'm going outside and wearing this and it's a bit chilly i like to wear like a white body underneath and yeah it just works really well because it can be a tiny bit see-through so when i'm going out i just like to wear a white body underneath and it works really well with the skirt as well the skirt is from zara there is a similar one i believe from new look i will see if it's still available and we'll link it and then i've got my nike trainers like i said Normally with skirts, I would wear some kind of thermal underneath, but I have just realized there is obviously this slit in the side. So this is probably gonna be one of the last chances I have to wear this outfit, which makes me very sad, but I'll be excited to crack this out again in spring. I wore this a lot in the summer as well. Just if I got chilly at night, I'd throw this on, but I wore this a lot with a white body. This skirt works really well like that. So um, yeah, saying goodbye to one of my fave outfits today. An oldie bit of goodie. May she go into storage in peace. So I will be back with you tomorrow for another outfit. Morning everybody. So today's outfit is pretty much, well actually no, it's not an all Zara one, but it's mostly Zara one. I'm wearing my Zara black body, which is one of my like staple kind of basics for an outfit. I just find it helps every outfit look really pulled together really, really quickly. And then I've got a really old belt. I believe this was from New Look via ASOS like years ago, came in a set of two and actually the only thing that i would change is i really want to take the buckle off and spray paint it because i don't like 
this. I would like kind of a gold colour, but I'm just working with what I have at the moment and I really felt this outfit needed a black belt, a black belt, a brown belt. And then these trousers are from Zara. I really like these, they're like grandpa trousers. And then to complete the grandpa outfit, I've gone for my Gucci loafers, which I haven't worn in so long. I literally had to dust them off, even though they're kept in a storage box. But yeah, so this is my, let's call it a grandma outfit. I kind of like it, it's cute. So yeah, that is my OOTD. It's a bit chilly, it's getting increasingly colder by the day, which is making me very sad. So I will probably wear my aviator coat. My black aviator coat is literally like, my staple at the moment. I bought this a year or two ago, I believe. I just absolutely love it still, and I wear it so much. Last weekend, I literally wore it so much. Didn't film my outfits because they were so basic. I was in like jogging bottoms the entire weekend. But yes, that's my little grandma outfit. If I was gonna go for any other jacket, I think I'd probably go for like a leather jacket or a blazer. I think for work stuff, I go with a blazer, but a leather jacket would look really cute as well. Or just a really big oversized jumper. I have a brown jumper, which I actually think would look, if not a bit too brown overload, but would look very cute with this, or just a big cozy black jumper. Would look very, very sweet. So yeah, that is today's outfit of the day. Good morning, everybody. It is chilly today i don't know if it's just in my flat or if it's actually outside but i am wrapping up in my misguided teddy bear coat which i love and then i've got a zara body on underneath this is this really beautiful kind of like taupey brown color just absolutely love it it's really really beautiful i'm wearing that and then my Topshop Sydney jeans, which are kind of like a little bit lower rise than the Joni jeans, but with the same fit of the Jamie jeans. Do they still do Jamie jeans? I haven't had a pair in years. But yeah, I like these. They have belt loops, which is one of my favorite things about them. And they just sit a little bit higher and they're a little bit thinner than Jamie jeans. And then I also have my And Other Stories boots on. Really love these at the moment. Just wish I had a little bit more leg. I feel like if I was like an inch taller, these would sit so much better, but short people can't be choosy so yeah and then i'm just gonna wear my she wants you to go in with this it's cute so yeah that is my ootd and i think that is going to be it for my what i wore in a week please comment down below and let me know your favorite outfit i think mine just still has to be the in the style trench coat outfit with the white top and the leather trousers. It's just all I wanna wear at the moment and I'm trying not to wear it every day because I'm trying to film my outfits for you guys. So yeah, that is my favorite outfit. Let me know yours. And I'll see you again in my next video, which hopefully will be coming up very, very soon. Goodbye.